Uh, now is the time on GameScoop when we play video game 20 questions. Already? Yeah, but we have a little bit. Yes. We have, the back half is we're, we're going to do some talking after 20 questions. Okay. Too. What? Just, just to let everyone know. <laughs> <laughs> Move your seat. Change it up the format. <laughs> Everyone knows how this works. You email me a game suggestion. I'm the only one who knows the game, and my friends here have 20 yes or no questions to guess this week's mystery game, which comes from Greg Kelly. Okay. And it's probably not Body Harvest, because we talked about that. Let the questioning <laughs> begin. Does your character, can you hear your character <laughs> speak in this game? Do they say like, anything that you can hear in your ears? Do they speak words? Actual, you, actual words. That you can hear. Uh, I I cannot defend. I cannot answer that question. It sounds like it's cute. Wow. Okay. Right. So can do, I answer that right. question? Does your character wear a hat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Character. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Justin's so happy. Was well, this game released um, uh, before January first, two thousand? Yes. Okay. Pre two thousand. He had to look it up. Pre two thousands, wearing a hat. He could be faking us out though. Is it uh, after 1990? Yes. All right. So it's in that window. <sighs> All right. So like I suspect game. that Damon's. I don't. I like. I don't like to meta game uh, Damon's <laughs> actions too much. But I do have to admit, when he looked up the 2000s thing, yeah. leads me to believe that it's close to the year 2000. So N64, Dreamcast, yeah. uh, late the, PS1. The Dreamcast always trips us up because is it yeah. a 3D game. Yes. Mm. Okay. That That's helps. smart. Uh. Uh, where do you want me to go next? I don't know. Well, we could try to do the platform, or we could try to do the genre, or we could try to... Oh, Country of Origin is always good. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, was this game developed in Japan? Yes. Okay, so it's a Japanese... Um, okay, so do we want to go genre, platform? Maybe we want to go platform. Platform. Is this a Dreamcast game? No. Okay, there we go. We got that one. Is it a Nintendo 64 game? No. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, in PS1? Is this a PS1 game? Yes. All right. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'm boned. Still, just we took just, three okay. questions. Three, I wow, that was, a, that was a quick burn there. No, that right. was fine. I yeah. mean, we got a P 3D PS1 game. That's great. Yeah. Made in Japan. It's Made not a Tomb Raider. 3D not Crash. And you're wearing a hat. And it's unclear whether or not you hear the character's voice talking. Well, maybe you play as multiple characters. And Actually, that speak. voice thing could turn out great, though, because like, uh, like that cuts out things like Metal Gear and stuff like that right away, because that would have been lazy, yes. So we yeah. know, okay, and, so. and we know it's not Tomb Raider or Crash or any of the other Western PS1 games. Right. So actually, wow, this is a great. All right, maybe um, Ape Escape. <laughs> <laughs> Who developed Ape Escape? Sure okay. No one knows. All right. <laughs> 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 Who are we on? Is it? We'll never Sam, stop. You, you, you don't give yourself enough credit. You're the most winning video, yeah. video game twenty I questions I'm player. I'm just trying to think of all the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to narrow this down. Um, What's did, did this game get sequels? Yes. Okay, this game about sequels. Ooh, ladies like yes. So it's like hey. Dynasty Warriors. Oh is it, man. Is it based on a license? No. That's on, ten. That's ten. Okay, we're we're in dangerous territory here. Um, so with ten questions in, halfway to go. And we know you're wearing a hat. You know that you're it's a Japanese developed PlayStation game. Okay. Rendered 3D. in three D. Rendered in three D. Should we ask if you play as a human? You wear a head. Covering, I, th I think I, get, I suspect I mean, it that it's like a, a ninja, helmet. Ninja game, or a... it could be a helmet. Could be oh wow, this could be a lot. Are of there things. ninja games on the PS One? There are a few. There's like Tenchu and stuff like that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh it's man, a 3D Tenchu. Game. Yeah, is it? Um, wow, yeah, I like that you went right to ninja. Why don't we just say like, do you play as a human? Okay. Do you play as a human? Yes. All right, we play as a human. We're closer. Because I was worried about mascot platformers still. Mm. Okay, so we're yeah, that's actually great. So you it's not a mess. You could have been some kind of gecko. There are. <laughs> yeah, some, some right. We could talk cool about gecko. setting. We could talk about your enemies. We could talk about your weapons. We could talk about um, you know, you're wearing some kind of head is, covering. I mean, if there's sequels, like there's like Jack and Daxter. No, those aren't humans. Is this uh, a game set on, uh, well, no, no, no. I'm trying to think is about Daxter the, the best. They it's talk. not, yeah, but that's made in America. And yeah, that's also talk. PS2. Do you they want talk. to try like the sci fi thing or the. Yeah, I was trying to think like, is it historical? Because I could bring in ninjas, but then it could be fantasy ninjas. What's Klonoa? Uh, Klonoa, like he's like, well, he's not human. Platformer. He's not human, not so human it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. There weren't as many. I'm not too worried about it being first person. There weren't that many first person games on PS1 back then. Yeah, there were a few, there but a few, there, there, there I mean, weren't that not. many. Uh, yeah. So does this game have like fantasy elements, any kind of magic or dragons or anything like that? Uh, I I don't think you would qualify this as a fantasy game. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. I've got one in mind, but I, I don't know. Uh, do you use? Uh, do you guys mind if I burn one here? Do you use swords in this game? 
Yes. Okay. It could be Bushido Blade. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that, that is, but sure. <laughs> uh, because you should know Bushido Blade. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh. And and that has a first person mode, believe it or not. Um, Can you say, do, do the people talk in it? They, well, they they say like one word phrases occasionally in Japanese, <laughs> but very rarely. Uh, I... Yeah, Katsuno, like that's one of them. Um, but it's like a fantasy-ish game, but there's no fantasy elements. It's all like is it a straight. traditional fighting game? It, it, well, it's it a fighting game. It's not a traditional fighting game. Well, yeah, no. it's a one-hit no one kill fighting. It's game. A, there's no life bar or anything. Mm. I don't uh, want to overfocus on that, but okay. Well, well, I mean, I think that's closer than anything else. We know that you're a human using a sword in 3D on the PlayStation. So Bushido sure. Blade fits that. Dynasty Warriors still fits. Yeah, that. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors Dynasty fits that. They're, they're both historical. Yeah. Is that a good question? Do you think? Like, is it a historical game? Yeah. Like giant crabs historical. Well, that's what I mean. That's what's tripping me well, up. Well, we already asked him if it has fantasy elements, and he said no, and using a sword. So the odds are that it's very historical. It's historical, yeah. 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 Uh, but that's there's a lot of games that would fit that. And Tenchu would fit. All So far, a bunch of games. Would, the so Shooter we could, Blade was one-on-one, -on -one, right? The Shooter Blade is one-on-one. -on -one. Does this game put a particular emphasis on one-on-one -on -one combat? No. Okay, so it's not Bushido Blade. There we go. Okay, Tenchu's got stealth. Dynasty Warriors has brawling. Um... This game uh, got a lot of stealth elements in it. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's it's 15. Tenchu. Are you... Okay, let's be careful. Are you a ninja in this game? Yes. Okay. Could it be... Okay. Well, you know there's other is. games. Well, no, we were guessing. Ask if there's a grappling hook. Well, but here's the thing. <laughs> is there Metal Gear... No, it's because you don't speak in it. What? Yeah, it's yeah. Gotta you, you speak in it. It's got to be Tenchu. Well, I mean, do you speak in Tenchu? I can't remember. Yeah, but if you don't remember, then Damon doesn't remember. Yeah, let's ask about the grappling hook, because that'll decide if it's if it's got a grappling hook, it's Tenchu. Does this game have a grappling hook? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? A okay, I asked if you're a, yeah, I asked if you're a ninja. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dude, uh, it's a 3D PS1 Ninja game. Why did you just ask if it starts with a T at this point? Is this a game that regrets coming coming out way too close to Metal Gear Solid? I, I okay, what? darn. Kind of All right. Is that? Well, that, again, Tenchu was killed by that. Is it Tenchu? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Got there in 17. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> no, like, mm. All right, whatever. I'll, what? I'll put it in the win pile. Yeah, it's a win. Okay. Who, yeah, uh, who sent Intention Ninja Assassin? I'm curious. That was, I told you, the I head, forgot. Greg Kelly. Greg Kelly. Nicely yeah. done, Greg Kelly. Yeah, that was. Tenchu was all right. It, it, it yeah, could have been. Uh, no, I don't remember really. if there's a grappling hook in Tenchu. And I don't remember yeah. if you speak, if there's any voice acting. Uh, I, don't I don't remember, remember either. Any. You used a grappling hook to get up in the ceiling and like looked out at people. Like that was yeah, the one. Like, Tenchu was really cool. The first like couple of games, I think, were pretty good. The problem with Tenchu was that it came out way too close to Metal Gear Solid and everybody's just like oh here's this way better stealth mm. action game that oh, that uh, that we could be playing. I played them both at the time. But then, I remember yeah. they, were, they were making new Tenchu games for the Wii. And, yeah. Uh, they were Crazy. Not, not great. Not Tenchu great. 6 was a Wii game right? Yeah. Oh, like a Wii six. exclusive. Yeah, yeah I think so yeah. Wow, sure. I think I have that game. Well done. Another <laughs> win. Put it, we'll put that one in the win pile. 17 guesses. 17 questions. Alright. Yeah. Uh, before we go this week what are we playing? The uh, listeners always want to know what it is we've been playing. Oh, I got a great game I want to plug. Uh, I started playing a new collectible card game, new digital card Whoa, game. Wait a oh. minute. Wait yeah. a minute. I've been, waiting, I've been waiting for you to get back from vacation. I want us to do some Let's Plays or something. All right, what uh, is this? It's called uh, Eternal, and it's from Eternal. Dire Wolf Digital, who's a studio that's got a lot of Magic the Gathering design experience in it, uh, a lot of designers that have experience in physical card games. And they're the one, they're actually the developers making the Elder Scrolls card game as well. Uh, Bethesda it oh, wow. just okay. co contracted them to make it. So it's called Eternal. And what I like about it is it's an almost perfect blend of Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone. So the board looks like Hearthstone and the cards all crash into each other like Hearthstone. You know, it's animated and flashy and quick, but it's got the mechanical depth of a Magic the Gathering. Oh. Um, you guys don't turn off those battle effects when you play? No, I mean, no, I don't, think I don't you even can. know it's if just, you can, but it's I just part of the game. So, Do you turn uh, off battle animations in Fire Emblem? Oh, yes. yeah, 100%. Oh, man, yes, no. right away. <laughs> I actually leave it in Pokemon, which I'm playing right now. Yeah, I leave, what about uh, Advance Wars? Yes. Oh, I leave man. them on for like an hour and then they got to get out of there. Yeah. So, like this game, uh, for example, you played a lot of Hearthstone. One of the differences here is you can call your block. So, like if someone's attacking into you, you can say, I'm going to block them with this unit or this mm. unit. Mm. And so, uh, little details like that, uh, you have, it's got the five color mana system that Magic has, it gives Ooh. you a lot more deck building flexibility. And the dopest part about the game is that it just showers you in free stuff. Mm. You're getting free packs of cards and free currency and free draft entries. And when you enter the draft mode, you get to keep the cards that you draft afterwards and add them to your library. Um, 
Wow. I play it every night. It's called what? Eternal. Eternal. Uh, it's an open beta on Steam right now. Uh, free to play. But not So not on like iOS, Android? It's coming to mobile, but it's only on PC for now. Yeah. And uh, don't be scared away. Like it's the most generous. Don't be scared. Well, by the free to play aspect is what I'm saying. It's the most generous free to play digital What kind of monsters are on the cards? I got all kinds of monsters. <laughs> like orcs? Uh, it's fantasy-ish, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're a dragon? It's probably dragons. Probably. Ogres. I love a good CCG. There's, I'm excited about golems. that. Golems. Play a lot. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Jerry. No, we're I'm playing Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 and really enjoying that. Uh, on my bus ride, I'm still plugging my way through Final Fantasy One. Uh, so playing those at the same time. Are you all kind of, white mages? Uh, kind of. No, no, I'm playing the playing the Power Party. Two fighters, white mage, black mage. Um, and How do you heal? The, uh, huh? You said white mage. Now. Yeah, two on fighters. White, <laughs> on what? Platform I'm playing, playing on Android, the, it's, yeah. it's, which is the easy yeah. version of it. Um, I don't consider that. Is that the Power uh, Party? Uh, what? Two Fighters, Black Mage, Black Mage? I feel uh, like that's the easiest one. Like you don't want a ninja game. in there? You should yeah, I play with the Black Belt. Well, so I like... Oh, wait. Black, well, those are two. No, Thief becomes Ninja. Oh, sorry. Um, my bad. No, sorry, he's right. Yeah. No, you said that's okay. Um, thief. No, I prefer not to play with the uh, the oh, Black Belt. Black uh, Belt becomes a master. He can become pretty... Fan- yeah, he becomes a master. And he can be pretty great, but his defenses are so low that I just prefer two fighters. I like getting a Mass Immune and putting that on my White Mage. That's great. <laughs> you get that in the last 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I know, but it's still fun. But then you can exit out of the dungeon and just go play with it for a while in the world, and it's fun. Go beat up war mech over and over yep. for no reason. I don't take white mages. Oh, you don't take, just never? No, I never used them. I just, just bought, bought potions. potions. Yeah. Uh, how, so how, what do you do without exit? I don't know what exit uh, is. Yeah, oh. you, can, you can bounce from a dungeon. Oh, yeah. it's the best. Yeah, oh, I mean, there's an item that does that. Well, there's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. The, oh, the, yeah. and also the um, the black mage has a weaker version of it you can use too. That'll take some really cool. I just trudged my way in and out of dungeons. It was tough, man. Yeah, it is. Tough. It is tough. Uh, it, the, the newer versions are easier. The, the old, marsh you, dungeon. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, oh, the marsh cave on the NES version is is a nightmare. Is that the ice one? No, the mar- Oh, the ice cave's worse. Yeah, uh, the ice cave. The things that turn you into stone, maybe. Oh, the ice cave's awful. The yes, ice caves. The, the, ice, the, the ice caves like the only legit bad part of that game. Well, the marsh cave because you're being kind of like this is kind of hard. This kind of hard. Holy crap! Well, you know, and then like, again, the ice cave four just... or nine specters <laughs> at the end. But you can yeah. just you can just do white magic on them. What, yeah, on those, them out. Uh, Unless oh, what, you're little <laughs> Sam Claiborne, and <laughs> then you, you don't have white magic. <laughs> also, also the, the, it's all, I'm the figuring, I'm understanding. Sammy Clay. And the yeah. boss of the of the marsh cave. There's a lot of specters hanging around that area, but the boss of the marsh cave is those ichthyd looking guys that look kind of like mind flayers. Is that the is that the one where it's four of them? They usually four of them in front of the chest. Yeah, yeah when you got to get the, the crown out. That yeah. fight more. Uh, yeah, and then the, the, the ice cave's just awful all the way around. But in addition to Final Fantasy 15 and Final Fantasy 1, um, I'm also uh, playing through The Legend of Zelda on my NES Classic, and I'm just about to the end, which means I'm getting ready to dive into the second quest, and uh, I haven't had a second quest run in ages, so I'm really yeah. kind of excited to go, to go through and re- try to remember if that's as frustrating uh, as I have I'd say. that you can use in my Nintendo Power. Excellent. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't, can't wait to do it. That game's, man, that game is still so good. Zelda one. Oh yeah, that game's ridiculous. I didn't good. play it when I was a kid, and now I can't enjoy it. Oh man, it does. It doesn't doesn't work as a f- playing it for the first time today. I think some people might disagree. In my opinion, no, it doesn't. It it really is playing it this time around. It's like a better Dark Souls. Like it's yeah. you can do almost any. It's like truly open world, and you can do almost anything you're willing to try. It's it's great. There's very very few walls that are set up to stop you from at least trying things. And I give that game credit for the flexibility to you know kill boss with whatever weapon you want, whatever yeah. item you want. Like it was unheard of in that era. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Sam, what are you playing? Okay, what are you so, playing? What are you, what are you buying? <laughs> Uh, I, I just got through the Clockwork Mansion in Dishonored 4, which is, or Dishonored 2, sorry, wow. which is, a, which is wow. a stopping point for me probably for right now so I can play other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, on the side, I'm playing uh, on my commutes, I'm playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, which I really like because it has the uh, you know 151 Pokemon in them, slightly different than a lot of them are, which is interesting. It also takes place in Hawaii. I like Hawaii a lot, so that's cool, but uh, it's still a kid's game and a little bit boring for me. But I'm is, still playing it. is the Clockwork Mansion as cool as I've heard? Like It's good. Uh, I... It's, it's, a, neat, it's, it's, one it's a house that transforms for people that haven't played. Just look up a video of it. It's not, I mean, it should get you to play the game because it's the coolest part about the game. Much like the Tony Shalhoub classic like, 13 Ghosts. Yes, you can pull a lever in a bunch of different rooms and the rooms transform, yeah. right? But you can avoid that whole thing by going up and out of the architecture of the thing and totally fooling the guy that's trying to mess with you. Oh. Yeah. And that was really fun to do. So I got through that and I want to finish the game. Um, one thing I noticed about playing that game is the same thing I've noticed about all Bethesda games that I play is that the saving and loading is probably the game function I use the most in it. Hmm. And those games are really about manipulating my save file. And that makes me feel a little weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, I can't resist. I'm like obsessively, I save, you know, I play for a minute and a half and then I reload if I screw up. Yeah, it's not. That's just how I play them. And the man, the loading. Yeah, it's not not instant loading. It's not instant though. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I finished Dishonored 2 recently. And, and you beat it, huh? Yeah, I How really, far do I have to go? You're like halfway done. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I really enjoyed most of the game. Disappointed with the last ending in the boss fight and the ending of the game. I felt a little let down by that. But for the, I enjoyed the bulk of the game as Emily. And I was planning on playing through it again as Corvo, but after the ending, I was, I was left a little like... Oh, no. A little... Uh, not, not super jazzed to mm-hmm. jump right mm-hmm. back into it. Okay. Uh, but I know they're going to update it with a new game plus next month, I think, sometime, so... I think it's going to be a Christmas break game for me. Yeah. yeah. I'll check it out then. Mm-hmm. Uh, sneaking is really fun in it. Like, if you didn't play any other sneaking games this year, this is the one. I always like playing yeah, one good. Deus Ex is the other one. Uh, a fun fact, oh, uh, yeah. the original oh. title of Dishonored was going to be Stealth King. Really? No. But, <laughs> nope. Sneaking. <laughs> the original title of Sneaking was Sneak King. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fine, fine uh, giveaway uh, game. No, since I finished sequel. Dishonored, I'm uh, playing Titanfall 2, oh. which is actually a really fun Campaign. I haven't played just like a straight ahead shooter campaign in a long time, and it's, it's yeah. a good one. I mean, I have I have a copy of Gears to play. I have Dishonored yeah. to play. I have Final Fantasy and Watch Dogs to play. But I go home every night, fire up Steam, play <laughs> some Eternal. Yeah, it's really great. I gotta check. Uh, maybe I'll check that out tonight. Over Thanksgiving, I had a bunch of people over, and I just showed them <clears throat> th- to San Francisco and Watch Dogs. Yeah, and oh, that yeah. was like all I'm really gonna do. Yeah, that game. I, have Watch <laughs> I just like, I just like driving around in it. It's really cool. I have Watch Dogs too. I need to I need to start that. And uh, I also uh, I was just on my Thanksgiving trip to Spain on my flights. I played a lot of SteamWorld Heist, which is incredible. It's an awesome... Did you play Dig? I loved Dig. Isn't it great? Yeah. Dig is great, and this is really good, too. A totally different type of game. Very mm-hmm. different. Turn-based yeah. strategy, you know, 2D side-scrolling turn-based strategy game. Let's really not forget about robots. that when we're doing our Game of the Year stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah we, that, that was that, really, and that was this year, right? I may have come out in 3DS last no, year. No, I don't think so. I okay, think it was we'll, early this we'll year. Was anyway. it? Wow. I mean, we'll need to Ooh. check. Uh, and also, I, I was also playing a new iOS card game called Solitarica. Which is, uh, it's solitaire. Oh, that, it's a roguelike solitaire with <laughs> RPG elements. The solitaire RPG where you deal damage based off your ability to, yeah. like, yeah. That's yeah. great. And, Sold. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's like Sold. three bucks. Yeah. yeah. And then you, uh, you know, the, you're earning coins for removing cards. And then when you uh, lose the game, you get bounced out and you can spend your money to upgrade your yeah. deck. Yeah. And then next time you can last a little bit longer. So one of my favorite Terrica. things Solitaire in video account. games is this undercurrent of, <clears> like, using card game systems that's, yeah. like, underlying some, like, RPG, uh, uh, whatever you want to call oh. it, like, flavor. Like, some, there's RPG on the surface, then underneath. Yeah. yeah. Poker like or poker. solitaire yeah. or whatever. Man, you would love Deadlands. Ooh. Deadlands. Yeah, Deadlands. A tabletop RPG built around, like, poker card mm, yeah. like combinations. Mm. Cool. You would love strip poker for the Commodore 64 <laughs> as well. Didn't you review something called Naked Poker for IGN once or something like that? There was a WiiWare game. I don't know if it was called Naked Poker, but there's a WiiWare game that you play poker like against like anime girls. And if you win, you get like a a scantily clad image of them. That's not great. Uh, it was not a good game. Yeah, I think I think your review was less than glowing. Probably, probably, as most of the WiiWare <laughs> reviews were. And that's all the scoops we have for you this week. Uh, but this weekend is PSX, and uh, we'll be covering the show, and we'll be bringing you live coverage of the Sony conference, uh, the keynote speech, I guess, and uh, all the new game demos and uh, demonstrations that they have. That's going to be this Saturday. Our pre-show coverage will be live at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. I think the Sony show starts at 10 Go for an hour and a half-ish, and then uh, stay tuned afterwards for our post-show coverage. It'll be myself, Max Scoville, and Alana Pierce uh, breaking everything down for you, so tune into that. But as for this show, thank you, Justin. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Sam. My name is Damon. Remember, you can always reach us at the email address, gamescoop at IGN.com, and we're out.